What's up guys, this is High Life coming at you today with a closer look of the Nike LeBron 11 Gator Kings from the 2014 All-Star Pack. Let's get it. These are LeBron 11s released on February 14th, 2014 for 219 dollars but I missed out on this release and wasn't able to pick it up until finish line restocked on July 31st, 2014. Official colorway for the shoe is Cashmere, Green Glow, and Purple Dynasty. The box that the LeBrons comes in puts emphasis on New Orleans, which happens to be the location of the 2014 All-Star Game. The box art represents New Orleans and the different player signature shoes which makes up the All-Star Pack. Each shoe in the All-Star Pack also comes with a tarot card, which coincides with the player and the theme of the pack. The Gator King colorway has the traditional LeBron 11 design. It's made up of green glow hyperposite which glows in the dark to reveal the All-Star Pack's mosaic pattern. Purple Dynasty Hyperfuse, mesh and flywire is accented with purple dynasty and a green glow Nike swoosh which glows in the dark. The Hyperfuse has an iridescent effect which uses what Nike calls chroma. This means that the material reflects different colors depending on what angles they are seen from. This particular colorway pays tribute to the alligators in New Orleans which symbolizes power and protection. This shoe comes with two sets of circular laces. The first pair that comes pre-laced on the shoe is a combination of Green Glow, Purple Dynasty, and 3M. It's held together by a Green Glow line head, which also glows in the dark. The second pair uses a combination of Purple and Metallic Silver. The tongue is printed with a Green Glow and Purple Dynasty pattern, which resembles the scales of an alligator. The tongue also has a Green Glow and Purple Dynasty LeBron 11 logo. The LJ logo is set in Green Glow, which glows in the dark, and a gold crown. The inner lining of the Gator King 11s utilizes the 2014 All-Star pattern, much like that seen on the box. The Lululon midsole comes with full-length zoom and has a Nola Gumbo patch stitched onto it. The outsole has a traditional Armand 11 honeycomb traction pattern and uses a mixture of both Green Glow and Purple Dynasty to give a marbled effect. The LeBron 11 plate also uses these colors to give a scaled effect to resemble the alligator theme and has a bronze signature and Green Glow located in the middle. All right, so just sum it all up, guys. Finally, finally, since like fucking February, I've been trying to get this shoe, and somehow I've missed out on every every release. And um, I was just glad that Finish Line freaking out of nowhere dropped like a, a giant restock. And um, I was able to catch these super easy. I mean, like these are sitting on the shelves of a at Finish Line freaking website for a minute, just because I feel like. There have been so many re-releases. Um, everybody who wanted them pretty much got a chance to get them, and now they're just sitting just because nobody else wants them. And resell for them, I mean, like, they flooded the market with these, well, by now. Um, but anyways, I'm just glad that I was able to get these after so long, was it? Six months? So it was about time. And quality, as far as I'm seeing on this particular pair, I'm just happy that finally, on a shoe that I've been wanting for so long, that uh, I got a pretty much a perfect pair like no no defects from anything that I can see um, yeah as far as that I mean I've inspected them a little bit already and they look pretty much flawless as far as really bad defects I mean there's minor glue here and there but you know like it's whatever that's just that's expected um, this shoe looks amazing when i first saw pictures of the, of the all-star pack i i knew that i was going to get the kobe 9 and i did um that was number one priority that's what i set out to get and i got it um the kds i hated the kds and i still hate the kds i think they're, they're like the ugliest out of that pack for sure these lebron 11s i was turned off by them for the longest time until I started seeing them on Instagram people just posting over and over and over again like those night shots like those night shots got to me like seeing them glow and like the um, the lines like lighting up that just sold it for me and finally I was like after a while I just had to have them have them and I'm so glad that I finally finally do get to get them um, the chroma effect on this uh, on this hyperfuse is just it's great man just overall a great great shoe I really enjoy it I would uh, highly recommend this to, to anyone who collects LeBron's I mean this is a this is a must-have for sure the all-star packs always always a staple um, LeBron 11's this is probably top three best LeBron 11's for me 
The King's Pride, of course, is up there. These and... Uh, I don't know. The Birds of Paradise was kind of a bust. The, um, the South Beaches were kind of a bust. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to go back and reevaluate my top three um, LeBron 11s, but most notably, All-Star Pack and the King's Pride. My favorites, no doubt. Those were the only two that I kind of like must cop for me that I had to go out and try to get. But there you guys have it. High on life, coming at you again. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of these in the comment box. And that's that. High on life. Catch you guys next time. Later. Dead like my soul. I feel I'm losing control. My body's getting so cold. I fucking feel like a corpse. I get these chills down my spine. I'm feeling so paralyzed. I've never felt so alive. I fucking feel like a corpse.